Hey, it's Chase, and I'm going to show you how to make a baseball field in Google SketchUp. So, you just start by clicking on the rectangle tool, and you just start making a rectangle. And you notice at the bottom right, there's a spot where you can type in dimensions, and you just simply type in whatever size you want. You should probably have a square, though, and it should look just like that. And then next, you're going to want to measure how far away you're going to have your baseball um, bases away from the edge. Usually just a couple of feet. And you can start drawing the square base and just type in the dimensions again for how big you want it to be. And once you have all of them in, you can draw a home plate, which just looks a little bit different. It doesn't have to be exact. I just got it close enough to what it should look like. And if you zoom in, it's a lot easier to draw it because Google SketchUp automatically tries to think what you're going to try to draw. Next, you're going to need to try, or you're going to need to draw the pitcher's mound. And easiest way to find the center is to cross two lines from each of the corners, and that'll be your center. And then you can take the circle tool, and you just start drawing it out. And you can t also type in the dimensions for how big you want it to be. And that's what the pitcher's mound should look like. But then you're going to need to draw the play on the pitcher's mound but it would just be it's it tends to draw differently because it wants to go along the axis so you just need to draw off to the side and once you have your square on the ground you can pull it up which makes it from a 2d shape into a 3d shape so if you pull it up, then it turns into a 3D shape like that. But the only problem is that it's not turned the right direction. So all you have to do is highlight it. And then you click on the... Well, I'm just going to move it off to the side, actually. I move it off to the side and try to line it up close enough along that line because I know that's what it's got to be parallel with. And then you click on the rotate tool and you just click on the surface and click in a different spot and you can start rotating it just like that. And so you line it up where you would want the base to be at and then you click on the move tool and you can move it on to the field but it would be a lot easier to grab it from the bottom corner so it doesn't get all messed up on the ground so right there is a good spot and that's the pitching mound but the mound is also up higher off the ground. So we'll just click on that and move it up a little bit. That's good. All right. So now we don't really need those lines anymore. They'll probably just get in the way. So if you take the eraser and run it across the lines, they'll automatically just delete. You have to click and hold 
and if you move it across the lines then it'll automatically just delete and then to add for effect you should probably pull the bases up just to make it look better and then we need to draw the base lines so you just draw it from the bottom corner to the other bottom corner of the base and then you just continue doing the rest of them and that's what it should look like so now that we're done with the infield we gotta draw the outfield and you start by just drawing from the edge straight out and it tends to want to draw another line but you just gotta click on the pencil tool again and then you draw another one on the other side by the third baseline and then we're going to add a curve because the baseball outfield is curved near the fence. So you just click on the two endpoints and you, know, it, you can make it so you can adjust the height of your edge. And that is a half circle so it looks pretty good right there. There, that looks good. That is how you make a simple baseball field. But I'll show you how to get even more detailed if you want. So if you wanted to draw the fence on the field, the easiest way to do it would be to add another curve next to the one that we already put in to make the outfield and then to pull it up. So first we're going to want to make some endpoints so we can guide where we want to make it at. So you can just draw a line along with the other ones and make it about a couple feet. And then if you can zoom out and then zoom back in on your other endpoint, you can just click on those two points and then you can start drawing your curve. So if you just zoom in and make it about the same distance, about a foot from it. And then all you have to do is use the pull up tool and just pull it straight up however high you want it to be. So if you just type in the dimensions, it'll say how high you want your fence to be. And right there looks pretty good. There. And that's how you make your fence. And that is how, if you wanted to add a fence, that would how, that's how you would add a fence. But also, you can add paint to the baseball field to make it look more like a baseball field. So there, I'm just adding some, it's actually stone, but it looks like the stones in a baseball field. And add crunk, had the bricks in the back concrete wall. And if you wanted to add grass, you can just click on it, and you can also change the colors of it if you don't like the way it is. And that looks pretty good. And that's how you make 
a baseball field.